Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and I've got the catchiest tune stuck in my head right now. I just watched this video of Altair from Assassin's Creed doing the Open the door, get on the floor, everybody walk the dynasty. Oh, I, I, I can't get it out of my head. And that song is so wonderful until it comes to the point where everyone killed the dinosaur and then it gets really confusing and awkward and nobody knows what to do. Because the dinosaur that you were previously walking with you now have to kill, so it all gets confusing. That song is so cryptic, but I love it either way. Especially when Altair does a dance to it, it just makes me laugh. And yes, that video is as goofy as it sounds. I might just link it for you. And finally, I have some free time to make this video. I've been kind of busy lately. I'm, I'm not even going to go on about it. Like, you guys know that I'm busy, and when I get free time, I will make a video. And Battlefield 3 is coming, coming up soon, and... I'm not going to have a free time. Number one, because I promised a friend that I would watch Scorpion King Battle for Redemption with him, which is a prequel. No, no, it's not even a prequel. Okay. It is a sequel to a prequel to a prequel of a sequel of a remake. All right? So, it's the sequel to the Scorpion King Rise of a Warrior, which is a prequel to the Scorpion King, which is a prequel to The Mummy Returns, which is a sequel of The Mummy, which is a remake of The Mummy. So... Nope, I'm. I really don't think I'm gonna make make uh, true on that promise. Okay, I don't think I'm going to watch that movie. Just it's one of those ones where I'm just going. Um, no, it's just like Port Valdez Rush. It's just uh, Port Valdez Rush. Thirty-two players. Um, no, let's not do that. And as I mentioned, Battlefield Three is coming up. I'm not gonna have beta footage on Tuesday. I just. I know has time, okay? I know has time. I just don't have the time. But maybe Thursday, Thursday-ish, maybe the weekend around that time. And yes, I'm using the PB2K, or it's really goofy the way that I've learned about it. But look, okay, I'm going to get the Bush Monster here, and then he's going to put down AT Mines like they're Martha Stewart pillows in a catalog. Like, why did you do that? I was, I was stuck in my own mind for a second just thinking, why did he do that in so many bullets? Oh my goodness, like the 45. Thank you for saving me, but I just did, it was the it's it was like is he trying to trick me or something? Am I supposed to fall into this trap of AT mines or did he just accidentally use the scroll wheel instead of the number keys to switch weapons? Gotcha Steve, but he gets the other Steve that I just killed and you trickster, Steve. You are so ballin'. And that's represented by his name. You see, there's no way to get out of that. He is so ballin'. Shy one ballin', you are ballin', okay? That's so awesome because... I mean, clearly I can't get out of this situation. There's no way. If he puts a grenade in the room, it's like, well, can't stay in this room. And, Steve, I... Come on, Steve. Give me all damage, Steve! I don't know why he didn't go down the first time. And somebody said with the patch. Oh, man, with the patch, totally fixed the knife, dear. No, they didn't. They didn't. It's better. Okay, I can concede that it is better, but it is not fixed, okay? It's still good. It's better. It's nothing to complain about because Battlefield 3 is so close, but... Bush Monster, come here, you. Come here. Oh, it's so much. So many bullets, dude. The PB2K has so many bullets. I tried to explain that to my roommate. I let my roommate play and it was like, okay, the PB2K, bro, I'm not going to mention his name, it's why the fact his name is Donald and I already told you his name, so let's just say that for all intents and purposes, his name is Susan, alright? And I thought I'd be cheeky and go get A as soon as they armed B and obviously that's an awful plan. Yeah, really obvious, but okay, my roommate, for all intents and purposes, his name is Susan, okay? I told him that the PB2K is really small, but it packs a lot of punch, okay? And then he says, okay, so it's like a jalapeno, right? And I said, no, it's not like a jalapeno. And then he replied with, I'm spicy! And then we got really awkward. I thought, that's the goofiest voice that I've ever heard. It was like some kind of commercial from Burger King that he linked me to on YouTube. It was really bizarre. It was like Joel McHale in this Burger King commercial just... I'm spicy! It was really super weird. Like, I didn't understand it. And, oh, I'm almost out of breath. This is so intensive. But, so many times we got Alpha Set, and then look at this. This is such a swarm. There's so many dudes keys, including Steve way over in the MG. Nice, nice one, bro. And, double spray. I'm gonna use my dodge hacks. Get out of there! Run! Run! 
No, no, oh, okay, get out of there. I'm gonna come back around and look at this. So many chatty Cathy. Look at this gab fest. Look at that guy fly like eight feet in the air. That's Gustavs and helicopters and mortar strikes. I don't even want to know what was there. But what you do here is you flank the right side when they all cluster in the middle and you go and give me a sandwich. And I get Steve. I thought I was lagging, but I'm not. Look. I don't need no aim down sight, ninja, I just hip fire you. And it was not, it was not like I was just stuck on the MG. Imagine how bizarre that would be in real life. Just like, is that guy like stuck on the MG? What is he doing? And I thought I got the second guy. Thought I was being so cool using their own MG against them. And that, I think Milos tried to gooba stomp purdy lips there and he just failed. And that was such a great move, right? They were already shooting at my teammate and I decided to run into that fire. Yeah, it's a... It's a really great idea, and actually, you know what? I do that to an enemy in a few seconds here. You're gonna see it in a few seconds, but <clears throat> the PP2K is wonderful. But at the same time, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a lot. And oh, Steve, I didn't approve of your conduct, Steve. Give me your sandwich. And that's there's so many sandwiches today. I think I'm gonna get tired, and my voice is going to start to hurt. But. The PB2K is great, but you have to be accurate. And a lot of times you will get 2%. Like you will, the other guy will be 2% left in his health. He'll barely be breathing. You'd be like, uh, if someone accidentally nudged him, he would die of a heart attack. You know that kind of health? One more guy. And the hip fire is not bad. Like, look, the hip fire, there's so many bullets. Like, just hip fire him from there. But you know what the bad part is? Even when you kill somebody, like a big dog, this guy, big dog, gets revived and kills me. What do you know? Just. It's great when somebody gets Ramble revived. And it is literally, at the end of this game, it turns into Steve versus Milos. And it is an epic showdown. It's everybody using the MG36 like this is Rival. Like, I'm not making fun of Rival, by the way, but at 22 tickets, like, you need to... Uh, re revived! And at 22 tickets, you really need to switch to Medic if you're... If there's any reasonable doubt that you're not going to get the objective. But look at this guy going all the way in. He's going to make it? Come on, bro. Come on, bro, Chacho! He's gonna get it. He gets it. Yes, he gets it. Okay, so he gets it. That guy tries to crate bash. Not a good idea. And this bush monster. Look at this guy. I'm the Terminator. My, I'm never really disappointed when I lose a close range hip fire battle between an enemy and myself. I really never get sad. It's like he's got better hip fire. Revive. I've never. Silly bush monster. Don't take my MG36. It's like silly bush monster. MG36s are for fat. Steve medics that have a hearty mustache and eat chili on a daily basis and nice job with the big iron Chosen toaster. That's a wonderful name We actually got the objective which is quite dandy and look at my hacks right now I've got the red dot on my hip fire. Isn't that pretty awesome? I think that's pretty cool and this guy wanted to stay on the MG. I have no idea why I really don't know why like why would you do that? But you want to get a lot of kills you, okay, this is how you get a montage clip on Atacama. You wait in their spawn until everybody moves forward. You are on the defending team. And then you just go around and knife everybody. Like, and give me all the sandwich. And, oh, this guy's coming around. Oh, hi, Assault. And there's a, pff, look at the bush monster and a purdy lips and a Milos. Like, oh, hi, purdy lips. Oh, hi, bush monster. Oh, hi, Milos. That's really that simple. And if anybody tells you the montage clips are really great when you're shooting people in the back, don't believe them. Knifing in the back, it's same thing. This guy felt the need to steal every one of my kills, which I do not approve of. But look, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's what I did just about three minutes ago. You know, a bunch of enemies, and steal my kill again, Mr. Assault. Okay. An enemy is shooting at one of your teammates, right? And then you just happen to run in front of the enemy fire. Like, you're just doing him a favor. And I get him, but... I'm gonna revive you, bro! And I get exploded. Thank you for giving them our hind. That's a great team effort there, broskies. Way to go. And this is really what the game turned into. It basically turned into, okay, I'm gonna use the PB2K until it's really crunch time and I have to switch the MG36 and then I have to go from there. But right now, I have a lot of thoughts swirling around in my head about Battlefield 3, and I wanted to talk about this. When Battlefield 3 comes out, especially the beta, I mean, the beta is fairly close to what the final product is, but I don't think I'm going to like it because I'm, well, I'm like, I'm like this with every game, though. I always think, eh, this game could be better if you did this. Like, I, I think about it this way. Okay, 
This game could be better, and my hip fire is not as good as I think it is, but I still get taken there. I just think about it like this. Okay, Battlefield 3, it could be better if I could, like, wrist blade, take somebody's sandwich with Altair, just like Altair, lay them down really gently, and then stomp on their head Gears of War style. Or if you could have dialogue, like from Grand Theft Auto 3, do you guys, that is literally the most nostalgic game that I have in my possession is... Grand Theft Auto 3 was so fun, but you know what? Now you see it. Now you see it. Now you don't. Now you see it. Now you don't. And that's... I had to turn down my settings because my computer was sort of acting up, but I fixed it, but... Oh, so much great dialogue from Grand Theft Auto 3. I don't know if you guys remember that game, but that was such a goofy game. I loved it so much. Remember, like, my mother's my sister, and, and the cops, the cops were so great. You're about to be a statistic! And I, I, for some reason, there's just some sort of tie that I have to Grand Theft Auto 3 that will never ever leave me. Like, it is the one game that I just think, that is my childhood right there. I know a lot of you that are slightly older, you might have that same nostalgia with like an NES game, but I have that nostalgia with Grand Theft Auto. I thought he was not paying attention to me, so I thought I could throw a grenade and then get him with the Abacon, but Nasty Native. You might think the joke is on him, but clearly the joke's on me, temporarily, until the joke's on him again. But remember that name, Nasty Native. And this bush monster somehow stays alive. Automatic with the MG36 is not as bad as you think it is, but more grenades because my aim is totally off. And I revive. Now watch. This gets really odd, because the 19 tickets, obviously I have to switch back to the MG36 and the medic kit, because that really needs to happen. And, you see... That's, no, that's not Nasty Native yet. It's not him yet. But if you flank the right side, and I come down from the top, we've done... Okay, we've done Atacama so many different times. I think you guys know what my strategy is. Basically, don't run straight towards the objective. Go on the back side. And flail around a bunch. Okay, get Steve. Get Steve number two. And uh, Steve number three. How many hit markers is that? Please tell me, Steve. Okay, kill stolen. And... Kill stolen. I'm not gonna call him kill steals because this is so. Where's your UMP now, nasty native? Well, it's certainly not killing me, and it's. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Like, there's so much bullets and twitching and explosions. I don't like revive. I don't like it. It's just so intense, and this is what happens when you get 32 players. It gets really intense like this. But alas, my screen has gone black, and I don't even know what's going on anymore. So there we go. Uh. Chosen Toaster, you catfish, camping there again. Oh. I always think about it this way. Some people like to not go for the objective and just kind of lurk and wait for you to run past them, like that guy's dead body in the corner, and I have to confess that I do that more often than not. But don't run for me, Steve. Don't run for me, please. But I need more fast-forwarding. More fast-forwarding. No, not really, but... Oh... I'm trying to think all the things that I want in Battlefield 3, and it really does get difficult for me to actually think that I will like the game. I know I'm going to like the game, and here I I sort of alt-tabbed because I was downloading something. I'm not going to tell you what I was downloading, but Big Dog over here, he literally got me like four straight times. Just straight up four straight times on this right flank, just sitting there with a saw. That's such... Everybody's Steve, and it's, it just gets kind of annoying after a while. It's, everyone is Steve. There's Big Dog again. I don't think he ever reloaded on that side. Just, yeah, bro, I've got like, what, uh, 200 bullets? What do you have? And get Steve here. Oh, my God. I think I just spilled water all over myself. I'm going to take a break here. Yeah, it actually wasn't water. It was Gatorade, but regardless... It's kind of a stain, and I'm kind of ashamed about it right now, but whatever, okay. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I get really annoyed by this. Okay, can you can you see what I'm talking about? Do you see the little nub? Do you see the nub cake on my PB2K? I don't know if you notice it, but I definitely notice it. Okay, look. The next time that I aim down sight, just look. You see the little nub? My thumb just sticks out right there. I find it so annoying, but sniped with the 45. That's why I love the 45. I don't know about you guys, but the M9 just does not seem as precise over range. For some reason, the Grotch don't, like, I'm really good with the Grotch on console, but I cannot get it done on PC. I simply cannot. But this nub, look at this nub cake. Look at the nub cake. It's just my little thumb jutting out for some reason. I find it very annoying. 
But the PV2K is definitely good for sniping at this range, but yet again, you have to put a lot of bullets into the guy. Yes, there's little recoil. Less, there's not a whole lot of spread if you tap it correctly, but look how many hit markers I get before I kill somebody. Look, look. And I'm up. Oh, no, I think I get this guy too. Yeah, see, that's a lot of hit markers. Like, I'm down to seven bullets before I even get close to killing him. But then again, that is the SMG. I mean, like, it's... I would definitely say that of all the... SMGs that have assault rifle-like qualities, but I don't approve of your conduct. Give me your sandwich. Uh, and oh man, spray down with the saw, nasty native. Where's your UMP now? And I don't know how Steve got up here. We had that many guys in this building. I really don't understand how that happened. But yet again, everyone is a Steve on this opposing team. On the this opposing team, like it might as well just be Miloš versus Team Steve. And I'm. Still very tired right now. I apologize about that, but I've not been getting a whole lot of sleep lately. In my like three hours of sleep, right, right, meow, trying to uh, finish this out. Okay, so get Steve one more time, and then there's a, there's another crouching Steve hidden dragon in the back of the spawn. It still tries to get us as soon as we get inside of a cobra. They just lurk. This team just loved lurking, and <clears throat> like I was saying, I would definitely prefer the PB2K over, for example, the the one SMG that I really do not like over range is the XM8 Compact. I don't know if the damage drop off is just awful or the way the iron sights work. I just cannot stand that SMG over range. Like, I just can't do it. Like, the UMP I can do, Scar I can do, PV2K, Uzi, really little recoil. It's just like a PV2K. 991 ones, the same story. And look at Steve back there. Get out of my spawn, Steve. Why would you do that? And. It's going to be kind of a bad decision coming up, because I thought it would be a really great idea uh, to switch back to middle settings because my frame rate had evened out, but I come all the way down here, we steal the enemy tank that they somehow vacated, and look for the most convenient explosive barrel skin douche and fly 40 feet. Nice one, engineer. This guy was running around, I thought he was going to drill us, so I got out, but he actually, he got squeezed by my, the tank driver, and then I get mowed down with an Uzi. And let's all ridicule him because he's using a red dot sight. Let's just do that. And flanking out on the, on the left side, I did nothing. Like, I literally did nothing. I got in a tank. I went oh, all the way out on the left side. And since they had so many engineers lurking in the back of the spawn, it was just useless. Like, I got one-shotted with some guy that was using Warhead on a mounted tow missile. And then I just kept hitting the same tank with an AT4 over and over and over. And then he came over, so I had to... The bush monster basically taught me how to dougie so that I could dance around that tank. And I eventually get to the back of the spawn. I like to just stay back here and just wait for a tank. How did I not get that kill? Like, that is one thing that is just annoying. But this is one example where an entire 40 bullets does not get it done, even though my aim is fairly precise. 45 needs to clean it up almost every time. But the, actually, you know what? The full auto on the PB2K is preferable over other SMGs. Like, the XMA Compact goes everywhere. But see, full auto right there? It's a little bit more favorable. And waiting, waiting, waiting. Give me that. Give me that big bird for tank right now. It's going to get... Come on, bro. Come on, bro. There we go. Right when I wanted it. And this guy thinks that a 40 mil, like, MM grenade launcher is enough to actually take down a tank. I think not, kind sir. That's a great idea, by the way. And Warhead is the greatest. Warhead just put packs so much punch into your tank shell. It's so wonderful. And one more time. And he's going to take one more shot. Boom! And I said, you know what, guys, on my team, I'm going to not go ahead and not dance around the objective and lurking bathtubs like Milosh. I don't know what he's doing there. I'm just going to arm and ninja around all these guys. But the Chosen Toaster was just waiting with a Gustav. Thank you very much. Good thing that's not going to happen in Battlefield 3. Oh wait, it probably is going to happen, excessively. And I heard there was no AT4. I think a lot of you might be sad about that. But I'm thinking, how are those choppers going to go down with an AT without an AT4? I think some serious mass skills. And right there, I literally I tried to survive just to toss out a grenade at the objective. But we actually got it, which makes me very, very happy. But that's really the only purpose of that entire life was... I'm going to spawn in, rotate, and throw a grenade and hope that something good happens. But for, you, for those of you that stuck around this long, 
since Battlefield 3 is so close, I'm basically just going to clean out all of my my entire folder that I kept of clips that I thought were somewhat noteworthy. So <clears throat> I'm just going to add all those at the end of this video just to give you an extra treat. I don't think you're going to... Most of them are just weird. They're just odd. So hopefully you enjoy that. There's my final score. I will see you guys in Battlefield 3 probably on Thursday or Friday, not Tuesday or Wednesday. Probably Thursday or Friday. All right, so... I will see you then, Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Beach B. Let's get let's get this let's get this brown one right here. Run him down. Get him and Nick Buck, get him! Get him! He's not running lightweight, he's not running lightweight, we can still get him. <laughs> let's get him! Let's get him! Let's get him! Don't run from us, Steve! Cut him off, cut him off! Yes! Oh, yes, I got him! Yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. Try, uh, no. I'm plotting... Uh, Why did you jump in the water? <laughs> uh, no, I fell! Oh I fell! Red and Bottle of him! No! You know what, guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like ops to fend me. Who would do it now? Lol, it's got the chopper. Lol. I remember how to play this game, right? Oh no. That bush boss doing. A uh, a message at oh, 250. Get a response. Lol. So uh you lose. You lose. This triple tank. Check this out. Look, I can clear the fence without breaking it. Ready? Okay, see it. Here we go. Better than three. Oh, oh what I'm clearly, clearly. Nice, dude. That's pretty <laughs> awesome, dude. That was some X Games trick. That's pretty impressive, right? Nice stuff, bro. Yeah, nice stuff, bro.